Giving a cervical polyp is a procedure suitable for primary care. We're now going to demonstrate the equipment required and the techniques involved in removing a polyp. The following equipment is required. A speculum and gel, ideally a polyps forceps demonstrated here, which has quite a fine grasping head, or if a polyp forceps is not available, a Rampley's forceps will suffice for the majority of polyps. As you can see, this has a slightly larger blade. A silver nitrate stick is useful for cautery if there's any bleeding post-procedure. And a histology pot is required for sending the sample for analysis. We will now demonstrate the technique on a plastic model. The plastic model is demonstrating an endocervical polyp protruding from the os. First, um, um, uh, apply the polyp forceps and grasp the polyp at its stalk where possible. And, grasp. and then firmly rotating three to four times and applying very gentle downward traction. The polyp should gently be removed. The polyp then should be put into the histology pot. And if any small bleeding point is identified, application of a silver nitrate stick to the base for a few seconds is all that's required.